All of us use tools in our lives. Some tools, like snow shovels, get used too often. Others are used only a couple of times a year. And a few just come out when we're working on a specific project. Tools are meant to be used, not stored away in basements or garages waiting for that someday project. Maybe you're a handy person and like to buy a tile cutter and grout floater to use on that one bathroom project. But for most of us, buying a tool to use once is a hassle. Maybe you're not so handy and don't even have a hammer when the need arises. Or perhaps you've got friends over to help you dig a garden bed and you don't have enough shovels to go around. Sometimes a friendly neighbor will lend you a tool or if you're a member of the Low Technology Institute or our neighbors in the village of Cooksville or the town of Porter, you can visit a tool library. We're like your neighbor, but we have more tools we're happy to lend to you without the potential for any social awkwardness. Tool libraries work just like the book ones. You come in, browse our selection of tools, choose what you need, and check it out to finish your project. We're collecting a wide variety of tools, from basic measuring tapes, hammers, and screwdrivers, to tools for specific jobs, like a knife for smoothing drywall joints, or a PV for moving logs. Go to our website, lowtechinstitute.org, and click on the Tool Library tab, where you can look through our catalog of tools and make a reservation once we're open this spring. You can get the tools for a week, unless someone else has reserved it. Just like a library, we have minimal late fees of just a quarter a day. We also ask for a nominal donation of a quarter a day from tools that need to be kept up, like the circular saw, which needs a new blade periodically. But most of the tools are absolutely free to borrow. We've even got space for a leave a nail, take a nail area, where folks can leave leftover screws, nails, and other hardware for others to use when needed. Check the website for full details, but it's pretty straightforward. Now comes the reason for this video. As you can see, we have been collecting tools this winter, but they're all sitting in crates on the floor in our garage. And although we're grateful for all the donated tools, we're still in need of acquiring more. In short, we're looking for donations. Do you have some tools just gathering dust in your basement or garage? We'd love to give them a new home where they'll be used and maintained. Additionally, we're seeking monetary donations to help fund this community resource. Even a few bucks will help us toward our modest goal of $500 to get this project off the ground and operating. About half of that money will go towards building the tool wall. This wall will display the larger tools in an easy to find way. We'll also build a set of shelves with so-called project boxes, each of which will hold tools for specific tasks like painting, drywalling, or bicycle repairs. The rest of the money will go towards purchasing tools and supplies to maintain and service the library's holdings. As a 501c3 research and education organization, all donations are tax deductible, just as if you were giving to any other charity or donating tools to Goodwill or St. Vincent de Paul's. Anybody who donates to the tool library, even if you're outside of our geographical area, is welcome to borrow tools. Significant donations will be acknowledged with one's name printed on the wall and added to the tool library website. Any donation over $50 will receive a free year's membership to the Institute, which is a $35 value. Finally, if you're interested in tools and would like to volunteer your time to help us maintain and repair the items we have, we'd be grateful for your help. We hope this library will be a great local resource that will be able to open up to a larger geographic area once we're up and running. We'll be taking tool donations at any time, even after we open this spring. Please don't hesitate to come and borrow tools even if you aren't able to donate at this point. It is a community resource and there for you. But if you are in a position to give tools, time, or money, we greatly appreciate any help, no matter the size. Thanks for taking the time to watch this short video and get acquainted with this new community resource. Please check out our website for our other offerings, like workshops and classes on all kinds of different topics coming up soon. Thanks again.